And as travel demand has hit by coronavirus pandemic, struggles to recover across the world, many airlines are doing this. America's United Airlines is preparing to send notices of potential furloughs to 36,000 U.S.-based frontline workers, or about 45% of staff. However, not everyone who receives the notification will be furloughed with the final number, depending on how demand evolves and how many employees accept early exit packages and temporary leaves. Also, furloughs will vary by work group, with airlines seeking to avoid pilot furloughs because of the timely and costly training involved in bringing them back. The effective date would be October 1st when a government imposed ban on forced job cuts by airlines that accepted billions of dollars in federal payroll and expires. The Chicago US-based airline continues to burn through about $40 million of cash every day with the number of efforts to cut costs and raise liquidity failing to compensate for the drastic drop-off in travel demand. The follow warnings vary by work group with about 15,000 of total roughly 25,000 flight attendants set to receive notifications. United executives, they call the pandemic worst crisis in airlines history, adding that they have taken aggressive steps to cut costs and raise capital. But the airline is still losing about $40 million every day. Demand for air travel continues to be weak as number of airline passengers is going down about 75% compared to last year, this year.